Hi, my name is Rapasa, Rapasa Utino. Uh, I'm a singer, a songwriter, contemporary dancer, and music educator from Western Kenya. I'm currently based in Newcastle upon a time. I was part of making tracks in 2019. So why am I here? I'm here to share with you uh, some brief information about uh, Nyatiti, Nyatiti music, Nyatiti instrument, my primary instrument. Um, I would like to cover how it's made, how it's tuned, the people, and uh, uh, its place in the community. Nyatiti is an eight-stringed uh, lyre instrument from Western Kenya, played by the Lu community, uh, living uh, along Namlulwe, uh, now uh, Victoria Lake. Um, they speak a language called Dholu. How is Nyatiti made? Uh, Nyatiti is made up of, uh, of, uh, of the resonator, um, in a bowl shape, uh, we have three openings. The first uh, uh, big, big or large opening uh, is covered with the cow skin. Then we have the arms, uh, body. Uh, we have uh, the crossbar, the head. Then we have uh, eight strings uh, going through the second opening at the bottom of the resonator. Uh, they are attached from there going uh, up on top of the skin. Um, then they are extended uh, using papyrus grass to form uh, the tuning the tuning knob. Um, then we have uh, the third um, opening. So the third opening uh, serves at least three uh, three purposes. The first one is to amplify the sound. Uh, the second one it acts like a storage to to store. Oduongo and Gara, uh, the percussive aspect of the instrument. Then the third uh, um, um, purpose is uh, you put money inside it, uh, what we call fufo. Fufo uh, basically means that uh, uh, the audience would stop the musician uh, when they like what the musician uh, is playing. Uh, they've been praised. Uh, they've mentioned something interesting uh, during the, the performance, so they put money in there. It's like uh, a bidding. Uh, then you have what uh, you have um, a small piece of of uh, of that section that uh, closes uh, 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 closes up to mute the sound if you don't want it to uh, to 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 be amplified out so loud. Then uh, we have a string or a fabric that helps. Uh, the musician to hold firm the instrument while they're playing down. Um, we have uh, the bridge that is uh, mounted on the top of the skin using B wax. Um, then I'm going to talk about uh, the uh, external uh, um, part of Nyatiti. We have a, a rubber here. Uh, it's about uh, four to six uh, uh, inches long and one and a half. Uh, why? Um, it helps with the grip to tune the instrument. Sometimes it can be very, very uh, uh, hard. Uh, then we have the iron cast bells, gara, are tied uh, on, the, uh, on the right ankle. Uh, we have a fabric that is uh, uh, tied also before tying the gara uh, to protect the skin. Then we have the oduongo. Um, um, it's in, in round shape. It's worn on the big big toe. It helps the musician to maintain the beat or the rhythm uh, where they're performing. It's a one-man ensemble. Um, we have pain, mbero, um, urindi. It's a small stool that you sit on while you're performing. Then we have the last one, of course, your voice. Don't want to forget your voice. So how is Nyatiti tuned? Um, Nyatiti follows uh, the minor pentatonic uh, system. 
um, with some exceptions on string third from the bottom on six with the leading note. Um, and also uh, musicians can tune it according to their voice. I like mine to be on A major and then I tweak it accordingly. Sometimes I do tune mine on diatonic. Uh, it helps with the collaboration and also opens up uh, the space for other things. Cultural lines. Um, let's look at uh, the meaning of the strings. Uh, the strings are divided into two categories, the male and the female, Tuwandigi Moon. The first four uh, strings, um, um, the higher pitch ones, um, symbolizes the four days when a male uh, child is born before they're taken outside the house. And the other four symbolizes uh, the last four days before they are buried. Um, it used to be a taboo uh, to see or have uh, a woman play the instrument, even just holding it. Uh, uh, but since uh, the integration of it in learning institutions, schools, we can observe the interest of women now playing it uh, within um, uh, African community and also uh, outside African community. Our skills were transmitted in oral form, uh, meaning that uh, we observe, interact, imitate a lot. Uh, still, the boy child had boundaries on how they could acquire these skills uh, and how to use them while their master still lives. Although the child could learn from their father, um, it was considered for them to spend time with another master to acquire these skills. If they happen to learn it under their father, um, they were not allowed to actively play it, uh, meaning they were not allowed to play with Gara and Odwongo. Uh, they had to wait until their father passes them the Gara and Odwongo, or is not there. Uh, in other words, uh, their father is still holding this symbol in the same homestead. They were not allowed to, uh, to do that. They can't hold the same symbol uh, in the same homestead uh, as their father. Uh, let's look at other benefits of Nyatiti. Um, traditional healers also used a smaller version of it called Nyagwero uh, to solve complex issues and also to integrate people back into the community if they had fallen out. Nyatiti music is an expression of gratitude. Uh, it acts like a symbol of uh, unification. It unifies the Luo community. Oh, oh, oh. 
Corre, 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 corre,